everybody, welcome to this 8th edition of Turn at the Korean Capital and we're here today at Bar Gelateria Oretti with Morato, Master Gelato Maker in Torino. Buongiorno, Buongiorno. So one thing you have to know is that uh, Turin is one of the world's capitals of chocolate and this is the place you want to be. Um, allora, ho detto che Torino è una delle capitali mondiali del cioccolato e questo è il posto dove dobbiamo venire. Per il cioccolato, ma non solo ovviamente. Allora, ci parli un po' del cioccolato. Tell us a little bit about your chocolate flavors, because guys, there are more than one. Ci sono più di un gusto al cioccolato. Assolutamente sì. Torino nasce come patria del cioccolato. Il gusto che evidenzia il Torino in qualche modo per il cioccolato è il cioccolato Gianduria che nasce nel 1800 e qualcosa, adesso non ricordo esattamente la data, dove in realtà uh, veniva sostituita una parte di cacao con le nocciole. Esatto, so we, we were talking about Gianduia, that is our chocolate staple flavor here in Turin, it's called Gianduia, and um, Leonardo said that it was born around the first half of the 19th century, so 1800, and what happened was that um, a portion of the chocolate was sucked with hazelnuts, and that was due to the Napoleonic War. And uh, was that the Napoleonic War? Because there was the Dazio on the cacao, and so it was that the chocolate was the chocolate that was the most famous in the world. Do you want to focus on the chocolate? Yes, I want to focus on the chocolate. Yes, and so this made a chocolate that was the most famous in the world. Yes, and so this made a chocolate that was the most famous in the world. Yes, and so this made a chocolate that was the most famous in the world. Yes, and so this made a chocolate that was the most famous in the world. Gianduia Torino nasce ancora in una maniera molto particolare ed è l'unica regione, l'unica città a livello nazionale dove produciamo il Gianduia ancora come erano le vecchie origini, quindi utilizzando del latte condensato, un 30% di pasta nocciola gentile delle langhe e una piccola parte di cacao. So let me translate this for you guys because it's very exciting. So this Gianduia flavor, the chocolate is still made according to the tradition. So there is 30% of condensed milk, 30% and 30% of pasta di nocciola. So that's not only when you grind the hazelnuts, but it's also like almost like the butter. So it's the hazelnut butter, like you know, you have peanut butter and we have the hazelnut butter. E poi viene aggiunto il cacao. So the remaining portion is the cocoa powder. E, e l'origine del cacao a noi viene dai reali, no? Dalla dai reali. Dalla famiglia reale. So, so the, many people wonder how we got our chocolate and we got it through the wedding ceremony. And remember that it was the se invece vi farò vedere Gianduia, noi oltre il classico Gianduia continuiamo a produrre un classico sorbetto di cioccolato nero che è un cioccolato fondente, un equado dell'85% lavorato con acqua e una piccola parte di zuccheri. So, listen to this one carefully. So this is dark chocolate that they call Ecuador, so it's uh, Sugar, but the very minimal part. Water, so no milk, no chocolate. No, no. So this is lactose free, dairy free, and the mini part is cacao. No, massa di cacao. Massa, massa, massa di cacao. Massa di cacao. So it's the cacao paste, but from Ecuador. Dopodiché facciamo ancora un cioccolato che è stato costruito qui da me, che è un cioccolato belga viene chiamato, che è un, un po' il, le, le, i cassetti della memoria da bambino, no? quello che era la tazza di latte con l'aggiunta di cacao a freddo, con l'aggiunta di scaglie di cioccolato con dentro. So the second one is going to be the Belgian chocolate that reminds us all of the hot cocoa with the milk that we were drinking when we were growing up, especially here in, in the region. Um, so it's like a milk chocolate, but if you come over, when you come over, you will see it's really not like a Swiss Miss or like a Netsweek or a Milo, totally different. And there are some pieces also of chocolate. So it's something that is highly luxurious. Per ultimo, e non perché sia per ultimo, abbiamo creato un cioccolato bianco partendo esclusivamente da latte 
e della massa di burro di cacao. So, the last one is chocolate with milk and the mass, so it's again the cocoa butter from the cocoa. But I have to say the first one, I, I mean the second one, is actually his own invention. So you see it's not only a gelato maker but he's a master and he also was awarded and he keeps being awarded over the years, every year for his own gelato. So this is very good. And ultimo e And the last one that I was translating is the white one too. So you see we have the regular chocolates and the white ones and it, it's quite interesting to taste them all. This will be found in the partendo da fare un collo da quello che è il cioccolato giandubia. So now it's like the first one is going to be the questo è il nostro cioccolato gianduia classico il classico cioccolato gianduia look at this guy so this is the gianduia flavor please look at the scoop fagli vedere la so wouldn't you want to lick this? I mean, this is the dream of everyone. Tutti vorrebbero fare quello. Questa paletta, sì. Now, you see, um, the color, it, it really tells you what the ingredients are in, inside this flavor. So this is quite good. Let me show you better. Look. Look at this. Yummy, yummy, guys. Mm. And it's quite Mangi. velvety. Adesso oh. lo right, Now I gotta eat it. Mmm. Guys, it's so good. Mm. I wish you were here. I nostri ingredienti, come dicevamo prima, per questo gianduia, classico piemontese, latte condensato, una piccola parte di zucchero e nocciola tonda gentile delle langhe e una punta di cacao. So, a little bit of cocoa. Tonda gentile hazelnut, that is the one that we grow over here in Piedmont. Condensed milk, and guys, guys, you are in heaven. This is so delicious. You gotta come over.